Meta is not as friendly with Apple devices as it is with PC. So I'm going to show you how I use SideQuest, a third-party app, to upload my images into my headset. This is not the only way to do this, but if you're using Contour and have an Apple device, this is one of the only ways you can do it is through a third-party app. There is an easier way to do it if you are using Stencil VR as your app of choice, uh, which I'll show you how to do that separately, but that's even easier. When you do a quick Google search for how to do this, this is essentially what comes up. That's AI generated and you're sent to all your links here below. What I found is that it actually takes a couple deep diving links to really get the steps. I think that's why most people struggle with this. So these are correct, but it's just missing some information or some gaps that specifically happen when you're in the side quest app that we're going to go through. So you're gonna to wanna to actually make sure you go and download your third party application. I use SideQuest, there are more. You can use whichever one will work with the Meta device. When you get to SideQuest, you're gonna be brought to a screen that looks like this. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you select get SideQuest and then two options are gonna show up, a web installer option like this one and then an advanced installer option like this one. I actually went to the advanced installer option right here for the Mac OS. Um, and downloaded this one specifically. So when you click on this, it's gonna head straight to your downloads for whatever web browser you're on. Once you've got your downloads, so here you can see what I just downloaded right now. This is actually the original download I did back in July when I got mine. I go through the steps to download the file. Mine is already downloaded, so I'm just gonna skip that step and go right to the app. And now my headset is not connected right now. You can see it's still sitting over here in its charger, so it's not connected right now. I just have SideQuest opened up here. It's going to show you your headset's not detected. You're going to open the setup instructions, follow all of these steps to set up SideQuest. All of this stuff is not detected or authorized. So first thing you're going to do is create an organization. Go to this developer.oculus slash sign up. It does not let you copy it, so I guess we're going to have to just type this in manually. Okay, so then you're going to sign up to be a Meta Horizon developer. You're actually taken to the Meta Horizon page, so you can do this directly on here. And then you're going to click here and sign up. Once you've done that, you're going to go into, and again, all the steps are here. You've done with step one. You've created your work. You're going to go into step two, dev mode. You're going to enable developer mode and reboot. Open up your Meta app on your smartphone, which if you haven't done already, you're going to download the Meta app on your smartphone. Once you've set up your app and your account, you're going to open it up, go to the headset icon, click on headset settings, then go to developer mode and make sure this is toggled on. It will most likely be off when you first get this, so make sure it's toggled on. Then you can close out of the app, reboot your headset if you need to. can't remember if it's going to have you create a SideQuest um, account or not, or if your meta developer account already is, is only what it needs, but just a heads up, it might have you do that. Now we need to connect our headset. So we're going to grab our cord, we're going to plug it into our headset, and then into our Mac. Okay, headset is plugged in. It is charged but it is not on. So now we're gonna turn it on. And as soon as you turn it on, there's gonna be a notification that shows up. I will see if I can get it recording in time, but I might not be able to. Um, but as soon as you turn it on, there's gonna be no notification that shows up um, and you can click on that to approve it. If you don't see that notification or miss it, I'll make sure to show you guys that part next. Um, I don't see it. So let's say you miss the message when it's first loading. It happens to me all the time. It's just gonna go to your notifications you're gonna see this USB detected. Click on this notification to allow connected device to access files. This is what you are going to do. And now I'm done. I'm gonna close out of this. We're good on the Meta device. Now we'll take it off, keep it plugged in, and you're gonna go back to your computer, keep it on as well. Now, you saw how all of those things were red before? Look at how they are all green. Everything's detected, everything is enabled, and everything is authorized. This is an easy spot in SideQuest to just get lost sometimes. Some might end up like here on the homepage. You might end up in your account. So to use it to upload your files to Contour, you're going to go to this folder icon, which is manage files on the headset. And again, our headset is already plugged in. So when you open up this, you are taken to all of your files. Now, again, when you are on Windows computer, it's so much nicer. All of this just shows up in your Windows Explorer right away and you don't even need to download any extra apps. Now, when we're looking for our Contour apps, if you remember back from that quick Google search we did, it's gonna tell you, move the files to androiddata.com.ddxr.contour slash files. That is the same folder pathway we are gonna look for. So we're gonna go over here to Android data com .contour, and then file. I don't know if this file folder will be in yours or not. If I, I'm just not touching it. When I open it, it's like other stuff. I'm like, ah, metadata, I'm not touching that. So just leave that. 
Um, but now to upload your photos, it's simple. It's gonna work like any upload file. You're gonna go to this plus sign, add files, and you can, um, you can make a new folder. I have not found that that works great for Contour. So I just upload all my files directly into this path. You can drag and drop that. I've got a couple images over here to do that. So this is like a painting. And then these are actually different chalk arts that I've done before. So I'm gonna put this image here that I took up in Northern Minnesota and you can drag and drop. Um, or you can, again, hit the plus sign and do upload through the direct file path. I'm just doing the drag and drop because that's so much faster. On a PC, you can um, use this just like Windows Explorer so you can see what these are, but you see how these aren't titled? It does help to title these in the future if you do want a little bit more control. If you're only gonna upload a few images here or there, then it's not as big of a deal. But otherwise I'd suggest titling these um, if you plan to keep your files in here for a long amount of time. I'm taking my files out and putting new ones in all the time since I'm never um, chalking or creating the same piece of artwork more than one time. This is also a good time just to give you a couple of pointers that I had to learn the hard way so that um, they don't give you the same make mistakes or problems. Number one is make sure all of your image files are in the square aspect ratio. So you can still create your designs in you know whatever sizes that you need. Just when you go to, to do a final publish, just convert them to a square aspect ratio for contour. Because if you don't do that, you are going to end up with a skewed image. So looking for that accuracy, which is why you're using a tool like this, proportions, uh, you won't get that if you're not doing a square aspect ratio. Um, and especially if you're doing 3D art, it's gonna skew your skewed design and the illusion won't work. Second is make sure it's a PNG file, transparent file. Now that we did that, they should be on our headset now. So we are actually gonna go back to our headset. It should still be plugged in and we are gonna open up the Contour app to see and verify that our designs are there. So now I'm gonna go to my library. I'm gonna find the Contour app. Uh, you can set this off. I'm just going to confirm my boundary for the purposes of today. So it just opens up right away. I do this every time. So before I take it outside or on site or wherever, I always make sure that it's in contour right here where I'm at the computer just to double check because every once in a while you might, you know, get it wrong. So you've got the contour app open. You're going to go right to artwork. It's going to give you <clears throat> this and the logos, and then you're just going to start to sh shuffle through them. So there's the minion <clears throat> 3D one there. Uh, that's the contour preloaded ones. Now you can see I only have one of my images downloaded. And the reason why that is, is because that is um, a PNG file. The other ones I downloaded were not PNG files. They were JPEGs. And contour will only work with PNG files. Your JPEGs will be on the, fo the folder in SideQuest, but they won't even show up in your device. So if that happens and you do end up with a couple of JPEGs in here, or files that just aren't going to work, again, all you have to do to delete them is go here and click the X and then confirm to delete the items. And now that I know um, I've confirmed it's opening up on Contour and it's the image that I need and everything is correct, now what I will do is actually turn everything off. I know that it's on there, then I can use the headset on site. And for that one, you're going to want to follow my on-site tutorial, which is also posted.